Hey, welcome. This video is for anyone who just purchased an Equinox 800 or is thinking about getting one. I picked up mine this last summer and I tell you, I absolutely love this machine. Now, I know there are a lot of great tutorials out there, but if you're like me, you get so tired of all the blah, blah, blah. So let's cut right to the chase and get started so you can get out detecting. Okay, right out of the box, you're going to notice there's not much as far as instructional materials. So you'll need to go to mylab.com if you want to access the full manual. Now the Equinox has an internal rechargeable battery. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get it charging. And it does come with the necessary USB cables that you can plug into any computer, but it can take up to 18 hours to charge this way. So my suggestion, run down to Best Buy or somewhere and pick up a high quality 2A charger. This will get your machine charged in under four hours. While you're waiting, throw on your screensaver and make sure you got all your other gear ready, like a good pinpointer. All right, you're gonna reach down, turn on the power button on the left-hand side. It's gonna cycle through the startup. You'll see you're in multi-frequency, park mode one. There's actually two modes in parks, same with fields. You can just toggle through these. Here's beach and finally gold. We're gonna jump back over to park mode one to get started. Okay, you then press the settings button, which is located right here in the middle. And then you wanna raise the detector so it's about waist high. Then press the noise reduction button, which is down here on the right. Let it cycle through. And you're almost ready to go. Okay, before you start detecting, you're gonna to wanna to check your sensitivity level. You have the plus and minus sign. If you push the plus, it will take you all the way up to the highest level, which is 25. As you can hear, there's already a little bit of sound interference. I'm gonna reduce that down to about 20. That seems to be an optimal level. And now I'm good to go. As you're detecting, if you come across a good target signal, such as this one, there's a pinpointing feature on the Equinox. It's this button right here in the middle. You simply press it and then hold the coil over the potential target. When you're directly over the target, you'll get a good solid signal and then this target should be located directly in the center of the coil. This is a 2018 zinc penny. And that zinc penny gives you about 2021. 20, this is a 1937 wheat back penny. with a steady 23 signal. This is a 1937 Buffalo Nickel. It was a 13 reading and notice a lower tone. This is a 1945 Mercury Dime. You see a nice solid 26 signal. This is a 1960 Washington Quarter. And you see it produces a solid 30 signal. This is an 1853 gold $1 coin. You'll see it produces a low tone at about 12. This is a gold men's wedding band. And that gold wedding ring, you get a pretty solid 13. Now there may be times where you get multiple signals all together, and it simply may mean that there's multiple targets right in that same area. Another thing to consider is target depth. Objects close to the surface will produce a strong, steady signal. 
but deeper objects are often less distinguishable and the signal is often faint. signal. All right, I got my plug dug here. I'm turn it over and see what we find in the hole. There's it right there on top. And it's going to be a wheat back penny. Tell the year. So, pretty cool. Very first target on the Equinox 800, and the first hole that I've dug, and it is a wheat back penny. Good steady signal right there. Probably a dime, I'm gonna guess. All right, ended up being. Uh, 1958 Roosevelt, but uh, first silver with the Equinox. So the uh, Equinox did not disappoint. This is uh, my first Barber Dime with the uh, Equinox 800. Okay, I think I just um, dug up a Barber Quarter. All right, just a couple of tips before you head out. First of all, I don't believe any place has been completely detected out. I've been on properties that have been hit by multiple people, and I've even gone back three and four times and found things. So just because somebody tells you it's already been metal detected, go ahead and give it a shot, because I guarantee you're probably going to find something, especially with the Equinox. My second tip, don't be a swinger. Although this technique may be useful in a big open area, such as a field, most of the time you're gonna miss things. So go slow. I found when I'm smooth, controlled, and meticulous, I find a lot more stuff. Remember those smaller, deeper targets, if you're going too fast, you'll go right over top of them without ever hearing them. So slow it down and you'll have a lot more success. Finally, if in doubt, dig it especially on older properties. I can tell you some of the coolest things I found were on signals I almost didn't dig. Hey, I really appreciate you watching. Please check out my other videos at Metal Detecting Utah in search of Mormon gold and happy hunting.